What is up, Idle Ninjas? It's Aaron here with another video, and today we're going to be talking about NFT Tomos. So if you don't know what an NFT is, an NFT is a digital asset that represents real-world objects. Usually they're bought with cryptocurrencies, so we're going to be buying those with the in-game currency of Ninky, which is their um, cryptocurrency. So in order to buy it, you have to get whitelisted. Basically, what you have to do is you have to transfer a 100,000 Ninky to your MetaMask wallet or smart wallet or whatever you use to hold your Ninky outside of the game. And then go into the Discord and go to Lab Land. Basically, connect your wallet so it can verify how much Ninky you own and give you the certain role. So you need to do this before February 16th. Phase one starts of the cells, and that's for the whitelisted users. Phase two will be the 28th of February, and basically going to March 7th when it all closes. There's going to be about 9,900 sales of the Tomo Egg NFTs. Um, during phase one, basically all the whitelisted users will have a limited number they can purchase depending on their role. There are different ways to be able to buy more in the Discord if you like post a youtube video meeting certain criteria you'll get an additional one um i think another one is like inviting people to the discord retweets so you can check out the discord for more information um the discord link will be in the description if you aren't a part of it yet so we'll have 700 mythic eggs available at 299,000 ninki 2200 epic eggs at 119,000 ninki 7000 rare eggs at 69,000 ninki so what exactly are these NFT Tomos? Um, they are basically going to be our battle Tomos available outside of the game through the Ninky Marketplace. Um, the Ninky Marketplace link will be down in the description so you can check it out. Um, NFT Tomos will have unique in-game abilities to aid players in Idol Ninja. The NFT Tomos can be breeded to obtain new NFT Tomos, a genetic process that takes parents' traits into account is involved in breeding. There is a chance for mutation to occur and basically they'll get new traits and abilities from what I've been reading. So battle Tomos are going to stand by the player's side and fully engage in battles. Each with its unique ability and traits, they will diversify the battle system currently existing in the game. With the help of battle Tomos, players are expected to step further into the world of monsters. So the NFT battle Tomos will have a combination of Tomo traits like eye color, expression of wings, um, unique abilities like we said before. Um, so the breeding system is very interesting to me. We haven't really gotten much information about it yet, but it's basically where we take two Tomos and breed them together to give birth to a new Tomo. So breeding NFT Tomos require Ninky. Of course, we have to use Ninky to breed them. Um, the amount it takes depends on the grade of Tomo. So I guess if it's mythic, rare, or whatever the other one was, will depend on how much Ninky we have to spend to breed them. After breeding of Tomos, players require Tomos in the form of eggs. These eggs will be classified into three grades. Um, the eggs acquired through breeding can either be traded in the Ninky marketplace, so I guess we can sell them to other players, um, or we can incubate it for hatching so we can hatch them and use them ourselves. So this makes it a very interesting thing. Um, so I guess they're trying to incorporate Ninky a lot more into the game and make it actually have a use besides just the Ninky, Ninky storing side of the game. Which being able to like trade Ninky or trade these eggs to people would be pretty interesting. I'd like to see how this comes out. So baby Tomos receive half of their attributes from each of their parents. There's also a chance of mutation happening, meaning that it is possible for baby Tomos to come out with a new kind of attributes that the parents don't have. So that's basically it on about the NFT Tomos. If you like the video, make sure you sub, like the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. Um, everything that we talked about will be in the description. Until the next video, see ya!